For the second time in a week, someone has broken into Spokanimal's new building and stolen electronics. The first break-in happened Monday. A laptop with vital information for grants was taken. This morning, a Spokanimal officer spotted a broken window and called police. KXO Force Colleen O'Brien was there today while police dusted for fingerprints and gathered clues. Colleen, do we know what they took? Well, they took a lot more this time than last time. They used a rock about this size and hurled it at the window that's behind that board now. Once they got inside, they took two computer monitors, a tower, two DVD players, two printers, a lot of new items that they can get cash for. And there was something about this crime that Spokanimal and police said just wasn't right that made them think it's probably an inside job. This is, this is really tough. I mean, it's really invasive. It's hurting the animals. It's hurting all of us. And we needed to stop, most especially if it's coming from the inside. It was bad enough for Gail the first time someone broke in. And now she's faced with the possibility that this is an inside job. The clues just aren't adding up. It makes me feel horrible. I mean, to think that we've got a trusted person on staff here that's doing something to a nonprofit organization is just devastating. Take a look at the hole in the window. Whoever did it used this rock. Now take a closer look. Who could put their arm through that small hole and then slide open the window without cutting themselves? They feel that there was another point of entry and that would be a key and a door. Once inside, they not only took a loot of electronics, they also found time to trash two rooms. Though it hurts Gail to suspect one of her own. We'll be changing all the locks. We'll be having bars put on the windows tomorrow. She's most focused on getting back the invaluable information kept on the computers that were stolen, including years of grant work and paperwork for tomorrow's kids camp. If you're going to keep them, keep them, but please make a disc and leave them somewhere apparent that we can find them. At least we'll have a way of, of moving forward on this. These crimes are costing Spoke Animal a lot of money, especially in this kind of an economy. It's just money they don't have to replace those types of electronics. If you'd like to help, they'd welcome you to come here and help them out monetarily or with volunteer work. It's at 710 North Napa. Also, if you know anything about these crimes, you can call Crime Check. It's 456-2233. Reporting live in Spokane, Colleen O'Brien, KXOY4 HD News.